please don't forget the others george matthew and 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 matthew so question number 3 um for this particular problem you have m1 on the left m2 on the right and let's assume that m1 is much much greater than m2 so the acceleration let's assume that m1 is accelerating down so that makes m2 accelerate up um massless pulley inextensible strings uh, massless strings as well all right so now we can do the problem so now the question is what is tension what is acceleration all right let's do this problem so whenever we see non zero masses isolate masses m1 m2 we are told that m1 is much much greater than m2 and we are also told that the acceleration of m1 is down acceleration of m2 will then be up all right so what is if m1 is accelerating down force acting down has to be greater than force acting down has to be greater than force acting up force acting down is the gravitational force correct so gravitational force on m1 is m1g the force up is the tension all right for mass m2 you have the same tension and m2g is now gravitational force now remember m2 is accelerating up so tension has to be greater than gravitational force so we throw we draw a very small arrow here m2g so the gravitational force on m2 is m2g all right so we have all the we have isolated masses we looked at the forces acting on the masses and now we are ready to write the equation of motion so what is the equation of motion for m1 gravitational force is stronger than tension net force is m1a so we say uh m1g minus tension equals m1a for mass m2 it is accelerating up so force up has to be greater than force down so tension that force equals ma so tension minus m2g equals m2a all right so let's go to the next page so we have m1g minus tension equals gravitational force minus tension equals net force and for the mass on the right t minus m2g equals m2a so for the mass on the left gravitational force is greater than tension net force equals m1a for the mass on the right tension is greater than the gravitational force and net force equals mass times acceleration so now you add and you get m1g minus t plus t minus m2g equals m1a plus m2a so this is m1g minus m2g plus t and minus t cancels out equals m1a plus m2a g is common so it's g times m1 minus m2 equals a is common on the right side so a times m1 plus m2 let's go to the next page g times m1 minus m2 equals a times m1 plus m2 so what is divide both sides by m1 plus m2 
to get acceleration and we get a is equal to m1 minus m2 over m1 plus m2 times g. And that is your acceleration. That is the expression for acceleration. All right. This is George Matthew signing off. And I say thank you and good luck.